Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. In this lesson, we're going to talk about vector addition and also some, something called the triangle inequality and the Cauchy-Swartz inequality. So these are all related to vector operations. They're these uh, identities, basically, that uh, we're going to be using to verify some of our vector operations, something that you're almost always going to be taught in a linear algebra class when you start to talk about vectors. First thing is vector addition. I'm assuming that everyone here is at least exposed to the concept of that back from a physics course or something like that. But again, we will review it as we always have. So when you add vectors, you can do it one of two ways. So add vectors. The first way is graphically. And usually, this is what people are taught early on. Um, and then after you get that out of your system, you start to use numbers to represent everything. But for now, we're just going to review real quick. So if we have two vectors, let's say I have a vector pointed this way, and I'm calling it vector A, and I have a vector this way, I'm calling that guy vector B, and I wish to add these two vectors together. All right, what you need to do is uh, redraw the situation. So I'll put an arrow here saying that I'm moving from this representation to something else I'm going to draw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw vector A as exactly as it sits, or pretty close. Maybe that's a little bit steeper, but it's attempting to draw vector A exactly as it sits. Vector B I'm going to draw as it sits, but I'm free to move it around, and I will draw it head to tail. So this is what we call vector B. So here, vector A has the same length, and it's pointed in the same direction as what we have here. Vector B has the same length as what we had drawn there, and it's also pointed in the same direction. All we did was rearrange how we we're drawing it so that we draw it head to tail. Head of this vector to tail of the other vector. And when you have it drawn like that, then you can directly draw the resultant, is what we call it when we add two vectors together. We go the tail of this vector up to this guy right here, and I drew a curved vector. That's never good. So do, do a little bit better job, hopefully. That's a little bit better. And we'll call this guy the resultant, which is basically the vector that you get when you add a plus b. Because clearly, you can't just add the, the, the magnitudes of the vectors together. If I have a force here that's 10 newtons and a force here that's 15 newtons, I can't add them together and get some number just to just say, well, the resultant is 25 or something. Because clearly, they're pointing in different directions. So some of this guy's pulling away, some of this guy's pulling away. What is the actual resultant is going to take into account the magnitude of the vectors, but it's also going to take into account the direction. So the length of A is this, the length of B is this, and the length of the resultant is clearly drawn on the board with the length of that arrow and its direction as well. All right, and so that's the power of the graphical method. It allows you to visualize what you're, what you're doing. Unfortunately, this becomes very cumbersome to solve real problems because who wants to draw arrows? And besides, this is easy because it's x, y, you know, two components, x and y for the vectors. What if I have a vector with three components or more? It's very hard to draw that. So we can also add vectors. We did it graphically here. We can do it numerically. We can do it numerically. All right. So to give an example of that, let me switch back to my blue. And if I have a vector, I'll represent it here as these numbers, negative 1, negative 3, and 2 in, the, in this parentheses here, right? That's vector u. Let's say I have another vector v, which is 1, 2, and 1. See, this is a great example. This is a vector with three components, x, y, and z. x, y, and z. So if I wanted to do the graphical method, I would have to draw it or some, 